welcome to Secondhand Blasters. This is Normatico here, and I got something new in the mail here recently um, that I just want to go ahead and uh, share with everybody. Uh, of those things that it's not in the box anymore because I was so excited to open it up, uh, but I do have everything in here that was in the box. I'm going to go over it uh, regarding the Nerf Ultra Speed. Uh, now, that being said, before we actually go into the speed itself, we need to talk about the evolution of the Ultra Series. Of course, you know, there was the Ultra One that had the drum barrel that you know, a lot of people really didn't like. It didn't live up to its promise. Uh, you had to make some modifications for it to become an honest blaster, so to speak, as some other YouTubers say. Um, it wasn't that great. Uh, I actually have two of them, one that I've painted, one that I've kept uh, just standard stock. Um, and I might eventually mod them sometime soon uh, when I decide to open them up and put in a lipo in there. Uh, but we'll see until then. Uh, then, of course, came the Ultra 2, which is one of my actual, my favorite uh, form factor blasters. You know, it's, uh, this one is painted, and, you know, it's kind of fun to take into the battlefield itself. You can probably dual wield this if you have two of them. Um, I actually have two, or sorry, three 3.7 3 volt rechargeable AA batteries. Um, I heard once upon a time that they were called LiPos. They're really not because it's not lithium polymer, it's lithium ion, um, which is technically safer, I guess, um, at least according to some people. Uh, the LiPo batteries, they can catch fire. Lithium ion, they can also explode. So pick your poison. Uh, that being said, if you are gonna put one of these, you don't have to do any rewiring with the lithium ion 3.7 volts. Just make sure that you pick up some dummy batteries and you don't use more than three of them if it's a six battery shooter like the Ultra 2. Um, or if it is the Ultra 1, you can do the same thing by an adapter and put uh, the C-cell uh, adapters in there with the 3.7 AA size uh, lithium ion batteries. Um, make sure that you only do two at a time. If you do three, I, I did it one time and I started to smell a little bit of smoke, so you might risk burning out the motor at that point in time um, or burning out the actual uh, wiring. So just be careful when you do that. Um, of course, you know, the Ultra 3 was a pump action. It was the shotgun. Some people call it a tomahawk. Uh, I kind of actually really enjoy it. People complain they were able to hurt their fingers when they were doing the pump action. I never had that problem. I guess I have smaller hands than some other reviewers, but it is what it is. Uh, then, of course, there was the Ultra 4, which, in my opinion, is the Nerf Ultra version of a Night Finder minus the light. Um, it is a single-shot blaster. Uh, it does get pretty good range. Uh, the Ultra 5, of course, uh, which I will be doing a review on later on. Um, you know, with that internal clip, it's it's pretty pretty. It's, it's beautiful as far as I'm concerned. Um, from there, they skip the numbering. Uh, you got the Pharaoh, you got the Ultra Strike, you got the Ultra Amp, the Ultra Focus, and so on and so forth. Now, I'm just going to start off with the Ultra Amp, of course, because this right here, this is the flywheel that uh, starts it. Um, you know, I got a little bit of extra battery power in this right now. Uh, I kind of like liken this to basically being the Ultra version of the Strife. Uh, it is mod friendly. You can do quite a bit with this, and it gets a pretty good range. Uh, when you actually do the 3.7 volt battery upgrade, uh, which is a reversible mod, um, you can easily break 100 feet per second. Uh, I mean, that actually bounced off the wall that's in front of me, went to the back, and so on and so forth. Of course, you see in the background, you see uh, Pixie, uh, one of my little mascots, walking around in the background. And then, of course, you probably heard me mention Isis and Rudy, the ferrets, which are in their crate. They're probably wondering why I'm making so much noise. So, now, with the Ultra Amp, of course, you have to do something else because who wants to just stick with a single shot? You want to be able to do rapid fire. Uh, so, they went ahead and the first one that actually did that was the Ultra Select, which I happen to have right here. Ultra Select is actually a really good blaster. You can select between the standard Accu, sorry, the standard Ultra Darts, which I keep on the left side, and the Accu Strike Ultra Darts, which are much more accurate than the standard Ultra Darts, but they don't go as far. Of course, it is rapid fire, uh, and you can discharge this in roughly about three seconds. I mean, we can see this. If you select it correctly, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 10 rounds in approximately five seconds. 
Um, that's actually not that bad, uh, but you might want to go a little bit faster. Uh, it is not as fast as, say, the Rapid Strike CS-18 or the Hyperfire. That is when they decided to do the Ultra Speed. Now, we will show you how fast the Ultra Speed can go, but first, let's go ahead and actually discuss the Ultra Speed itself. Because the Ultra Speed... There it is. It's a pretty sleek blaster. You know, of course, like all the Ultra Series, it is really pretty on one side really blank on the other. Now, I'm not gonna lie, uh, this is probably the most expensive of the Ultra Blasters that's on the market right now that you can still purchase. Um, you can find this at Target and it's $71.99. Uh, I happen to have gotten this in a auction on shopgoodwill.com that it was new in box at $9.99 plus shipping. So I think I paid a total of $20 after shipping. Um, it's not a bad blaster for $9.99. I would not pay $71.99 for this. Let me explain why. So, it doesn't really do anything different except for going much faster than the Ultra Select. Um, it doesn't use anything proprietary other than the magazines. And you just have this one tactical rail up here. So, you can't really do anything with this. So, but it is a fun blaster to shoot and it is quite intimidating how fast it can go. We're gonna go ahead and show that here shortly. In the box, it does come, of course, with 20 rounds and two Ultra Speed magazines, which I'm gonna go ahead and show you here momentarily. Um, that is probably my biggest gripe, is the magazine. And Hasbro, if you're listening to this, please start releasing these by themselves. You're probably wondering why the Ultra Speed did not sell as well. Uh, in spite of its high price point, I, I, I don't think it's the price point that got it. It's the fact that when you get the Ultra Speed, you only get two magazines, which is, is fine. That's more than what you've gotten with some of the other Ultra Blasters. But you can only use the Ultra Speed magazines on the Ultra Speed, and it doesn't really take these. So I understand why it doesn't take them because of the fact that for it to go so fast, you can't have this little catch here with the Ultra Speed does not. Um, and I'm gonna discuss the Ultra Speed magazine here soon. So I, I get the technology. I get it. I do. However, what I don't understand is how is it possible that I can find these aftermarket? Okay, I can find these aftermarket without a problem. I can find larger clips than what the Ultras come with. Uh, the Ultras normally only load up to 10. I can find them up to 12, and I can find them in different colors, uh, which is kind of neat. But the Ultra Speeds, you cannot. I have searched high and low. The only way to get two other Ultra Speed magazines, of course, you can probably try to find somebody on eBay who's selling just the Ultra Speed magazines, um, but you're not going to really find them. The only way to get two more magazines is to buy an entire new blaster. And nobody wants to spend $71 to get two more magazines. Hasbro, do better, please. I'm begging you. As a parent, do better. Now, of course, you might be wondering, Normatico, why is it that you would need more than two, uh, two magazines? Can't you just pick up your darts? That's the kicker with the Ultra Speed, and I'm gonna show you that Okay, so I'm back with the magazines, and here you go. This is the Ultra Speed magazine. Now, the Ultra Speed it does come with two magazines, like I just said. Um, here is the big difference between the Ultra Speed magazine and the standard Ultra magazine. Now, you'll notice that these two are roughly the same size. I guess I shouldn't call this one a standard Ultra magazine. This is an aftermarket one uh, that does hold 12. Uh, normal Ultra magazines only hold up to 10, or in the case of the Ultra Amp, it only holds six. I don't know why they only like six for the Ultra Amp, but whatever. Now, the Ultra Speed magazine, you'll notice that it has this little button right here, this little trigger, which that helps to launch the Ultra Darts upwards a little bit. Um, when you do load it, I do recommend holding that trigger down because it makes loading it a lot easier. It just means that you don't have to push as hard on the darts. You don't have to worry about risk about breaking them. And of course, 
As you know, Ultra Darts, they are a little bit pricey, uh, pricier than standard Elite Darts and standard Adventure Force Darts, standard Dart Max Darts, where you can buy 100 for like 10, um, unless of course you're nerfed because you charge $13 for 50 for some reason. Yay, capitalism. Anyways, um, the Ultra Darts, you can find them at roughly about 40 cents a pop. Uh, in the sense that you can buy a 10-pack for $3.99 at Ollie's right now. Um, I have seen the Ultra Strikes for $20 at $6.99 on Amazon, and that is a constant price. Um, I do recommend buying it off of Amazon. They do have a deal with Hasbro that allows them to give a better price than buying them directly from Hasbro. The only thing that that does not include are the Ultra Screamers, which are my favorite darts because I personally find that they fly a little bit farther and straighter than the standard Ultra Darts. I don't know why. I guess it's the little holes that make it go scream, but whatever. Um, point is that those are my preferred darts. Uh, I also like the color blue, so maybe it's just that. We'll see. Um, that being said, loading it up into the Ultra Speed, it's pretty simple. That's it. Now, secondary magazine, it does have a slot for it right here. I will tell you that loading this at first, it seems a little bit weird because rather than going straight in, you have to go in at an angle and then bump it downwards. It took me a little bit of difficulty the first time. Make sure that this is slammed in uh, tightly. If not, you run the risk of it falling out and darts jamming. I can see through the jammer that the darts are loaded properly. Maybe, we'll only know when we fire it. Now, holding it, I'll tell you, it's not the most comfortable blaster to hold. You know, of course I am kind of chicken winging it right now. However, when you hold it like this with the stock, the stock's kind of short and this right here is uncomfortable, especially if you're a bigger uh, nerfer like myself. Um, so, I, and mind you, I, I don't want to call anyone large or anything like that, but you know, Walcom, he's a larger, uh, larger guy as well. Uh, Drac, he's definitely skinnier than, 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 well, anyone I know. Um, I would be curious to see what his opinion is on how that feels holding it. Um, I know that myself, not a big fan of, of, of the way this feels. I wish that the, st the stock would have come out a little bit further, uh, kind of like the Ultra Strike, maybe? Um, and then that would have been a little bit more comfortable. So, but we'll see. Now, here's the important part. It's called the Ultra Speed for a reason. It claims that it can shoot seven darts in one second. Um, I believe it wholeheartedly that it can. Um, it is a 12 round clip. So let's go ahead and time it. I don't have a stopwatch, but I do have a counter on this camera. So I'll tell you. So this was two seconds and it unloaded all 12. I mean, that's pretty fast. Now, two more seconds, blah, 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 blah. You shoot them. Oh no, I'm out of ammo. I better have my secondary ready because in a nerf fight, I am a sitting duck right now. If only I had an extra magazine that I could load up from a bandolier and I could keep on going. Hasbro, do you see why we need more of these magazines now? You could charge $20 for them and they'll buy them. I'm just saying. Or better yet, somebody who actually mentioned to me the other day, and, and I happen to agree with this, what if for a blaster like this, if you were gonna make a proprietary magazine, you do kind of like what you did with the Nerf Titan, and you make a 50 round magazine, 
because then that would be worth the price of admission of $71 for what it counts to a really fast firing Ultra Strife, or sorry, Ultra Select, minus the select part. Or should we call it just a rapid fire Ultra Focus or Ultra Amp? I mean, you tell me. I don't know why that can't happen. Tactical rail, you know, you could probably put a scope up on here. Um, of course, it might be fun to actually just load up the camera attachment that was with the modulus. Uh, speaking of, you know, Hasbro, maybe if we could upgrade that to a 1080p now, that would be pretty awesome. Uh, but even with 720 up here, it should be fun because that way you could just record just how fast you're shooting those uh, darts out. But other than that, I don't see why you would need a scope for this because you're not gonna snipe people with 12 bullets at once, 12 darts at once. I, I really should try to not say bullets, but anyways, you're not gonna snipe with 12 darts. Also, if we're being honest, you're not gonna snipe with a flywheel blaster that's this loud. The Pharaoh, which you just, you know, has that bolt action, you could snipe with that because you could probably cock it quietly or prime it quietly and then fire from a distance you can't do this once you start revving this up once it gets up to speed it's kind of like ringing the dinner bell saying hey come and get me i'm here so now g-rex and i are actually going to go out to the range right now just to see how far these can fire i'm guessing that because of the fact that it is such a fast firing blaster we're going to get at roughly 55, maybe 60 feet of distance um, when it comes to a straight shot. I, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, that's one thing that I don't like about the uh, Ultra Series is that they say, oh, we can go up to 120 feet. Um, with the exception of my Ultra 2 running the 3.7 volt batteries, I've not gotten to 100 feet yet. Um, this one, I was able to test it the other day, and from inside of my garage, I was able to shoot at least two of the darts and hit my neighbor's garage door and have it bounce back halfway down their driveway. Um, so just to hit the garage door, you're looking at approximately 80 feet, um, and the fact that it was hit hard enough to bounce back, with the momentum it would have it lost from the bounce back, I'm going to assume roughly that we could have hit at least 100 feet, so... You know, and that's on a windy day. Yeah. But again, we are going to go ahead and take it out to the range to see how far we can actually shoot this. And I'm going to have G-Rex explain what he thinks about this blaster. Because, of course, I'm coming from the perspective of an adult who, you know, this isn't marketed for me necessarily. It's marketed towards kids. But G-Rex is 10. He's a kid. He might see things a little bit differently. We'll see. Now, to the range test. All right, we're back here outside of Casa Normatico, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and actually see just how far the speed can fire. As you can see, I managed to get the clip in. Um, it's a little bit weird of a system. You have to actually put it halfway in first and then clip up and slide back. Uh, but, you know, once I figured it out, it's okay. Uh, that defeats my complaint about that. Um, ergonomically, having both clips in, it feels a little bit weird, you know, but we're going to see just how far this can shoot. I do have just the standard batteries inside of it. Uh, one of those things that with the lipos, it, this thing goes way too fast. It shoots way too many bullets at one time, and you'll get a misfire every now and then. Uh, so I am standing right now about five feet in front of the camera. So I'm going to take away the five feet, and we're going to just start. So we got a little bit of bounce back. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot again and let it rev up a little bit more. Looks like from here we got about as far as 50 feet. Uh, but again, there was some bounce back. I'm gonna shoot the rest after revving up some more. So after revving up some more, it didn't shoot as far as some of the other Ultra Series, but again, it's not about distance with this one, it is about the speed. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and collect these darts really fast, and I'm going to give you my final thoughts, and we're also going to get G-Rex on here so he can give you his thoughts of what it would be like to play with this. Alright, so we're back, and we collected all the darts here. Uh, you know, it does shoot only 12 darts in each magazine. No, was it 12 or 10? Uh, 12, I think. 12 darts in each magazine, so it's 7 darts a second. You get maybe a second and a quarter out of each magazine for a full auto. Uh, as you saw when I fired it, uh, we had a little bit of jam when I didn't just empty the magazine completely. So I had to take it out, put it back in, and that's what I had, went ahead and reloaded it. I don't know if that's a one-off thing or if that's always going to happen. But uh, Rex here's had a chance to go ahead and handle this. He's going to tell you his thoughts about it. Rex, what do you like and what don't you like about this blaster? Well, I don't really like that it's heavy. Like... Okay. That's fair. That has 6C cell batteries, so it's a little bit of heavy weight for an 8-year-old. Uh, and mind you, G-Rex here, he is 10, so it's going to be a little bit heavier for an 8-year-old. What else do you, what do you like about it? I do, I, I like the, the... The metallic decoration? Yeah. What about the firing speed? I love this firing speed. Now, in your <laughs> honest opinion, when you're playing and you're having a Nerf war with your friends, would you want to have to pick up all your bullets after just 2 seconds? No. How could they fix that? They could make more magazines for it. That's how. Okay, well, there you go, Hasbro. From the words of, a, of your core consumer here, or, or your user, a 10-year-old, make more magazines. You know, it's one of those things that you do have an attachment here for a bandolier and one in the back as well, here and here. So you can attach a bandolier here, and you can go ahead and put the magazines with that bandolier to give you a little bit more extra time. Uh, G-Rex putting and taking out the uh the spare magazine pretty easy taking it out what about putting it in see i'm not the only one who had problems so there you go my final thoughts on the blaster i'll be honest with you 71 dollars i would not pay for this i'm not upset that i got it for nine dollars uh, actually i'm very happy because this actually completes my ultra collection However, I don't know if I'd actually get much use out of this in a nerf battle. Um, obviously, I would bring it in if it was a case where I wanted to go ahead and actually just overwhelm people with how fast it can shoot. But uh, to be honest, the distance, not as far as the Ultra Strike, certainly not as far as the Ultra Scream Machine that I have when I put the Lipos in. It's not as far as the Ultra Select, um, and it's definitely not as far as the Ultra Pharaoh. I'll be honest with you, this one may be a, oh my gosh, this is my last resort blaster, but even with the weight of this, I don't want to carry this as a secondary, quote-unquote, primary weapon. Um, I would much rather stick with something a little bit lighter, or even dual-wield two Ultra 2s if I could, uh, rather than having to carry this, lug this thing into a battle. Uh, it does look really cool, though. I do like the color scheme. Um, I don't feel like I was ripped off for $9.99 plus shipping, to be fair. Um, so if you can get this on a deal, maybe go ahead and do that. You might be able to find some on eBay at like $26.99 new in box for bargain deals. That I'd feel safe saying, okay, go ahead and buy it. Uh, but paying full price, never do that. Again, this is Normatico. This is G-Rex. And until next time, blast off. Now, just as an afterthought, I do want to let you all know we are going to be recording more videos soon. Uh, in fact, the next one that we're going to do a complete unboxing for, uh, you're going to travel to the future and back to the past with me. Anyways, we're going to go to the year 2169 when all heck is broken loose on Earth, an asteroid struck the Earth, and just turned our once beautiful planet into the Doomlands.